Princess married a man, brother Presser had to consummate marriage. She was the most prodigal princess in France. Forced into marriage at the age of 19, the man who forced her to marry was King Charles IX, her own brother. This grand wedding was a political conspiracy. France was corrupt under Charles IX's rule, and there was a brutal civil war between Catholics and Protestants. The two camps were at loggerheads. The Catholic Queen Catherine was in power, and King Charles IX was weak. He became a Protestant under the influence of his godfather. Kalini, Queen was displeased. In order to put an end to the struggle and make peace, Queen decided to marry her daughter, Princess Marguerite, to the leader of the Protestants. King Henri of Navarre, Marguerite became a victim of politics. The wedding took place in Paris, and thousands of Protestants came to celebrate. Marguerite was very beautiful and famous outside the palace for her many love affairs. Her husband Henri heard a lot about her, and their marriage was destined to be a bargain. And so ended the grand wedding. But Marguerite didn't want to spend a long night alone. She put on a mask and a robe and went out into the streets to find someone. She found the handsome Protestant Lam Walla who had just been robbed of his horse and back. He was penniless and in need of Marguerite's help. She left without leaving her name, and Queen was ready to move in the night. She arranged for an assassin to put a bullet in the head of the Protestants. Kalini, thousands of Protestants were outraged as his life hung in the balance. Bakin, unguided, was lost. Threatened by Queen, Charles IX ordered the extermination of all Protestants in the city. A massacre of Protestants began, known as the Night of Saint Bartholomew. This horrific atrocity left Paris awash in blood and corpses. It also changed their destiny. The beautiful Princess Marguerite had just got married when a bloody massacre sent Paris into a panic. A man covered in blood breaks into Marguerite's room. Marguerite rescues him, only to discover that he is Lamwala from last night's street. No sooner had she settled him than the courtesan came with a message that the queen was going to kill her recently married husband, the Protestant King Henri of Navarre. Marguerite argued vigorously on her husband's behalf and then convinced Henri to convert in order to save his life for the time being. After being spared the death penalty, Marguerite could not bear the slaughter. She and Henri were both imprisoned in the Louvre, but Queen wouldn't stop. She arranged for Charlotte to seduce Henri and give her a lipstick. What Charlotte didn't know was that the lipstick was poisoned and Henri almost died, but Marguerite arrived just in time. Charlotte dies right in front of their eyes. And as soon as she's dead, someone comes in to dispose of the body. But they realized it was Charlotte. The two of them escaped. They made an alliance to escape together. On the other hand, Lamwala learns of Marguerite's identity. As a Protestant, he wanted to rescue King Henri. And more importantly, Marguerite. He returns to the Protestant stronghold and sets out with the hundred men to rescue his beloved. He met privately with Marguerite and drew up a detailed plan. The following week King Charles was to take Henri on a hunting trip, and they planned for Henri to escape at 12 o'clock, while Marguerite in the city waited for an opportunity to escape, but the plan failed. During the hunt, the king is attacked by a boar, while his brother Duke of Anjou stands by and does nothing. Henri rushed to kill the boar and save Charles IX. The king was touched by this. The king is seriously wounded and orders him to return to the city. Losing Henri's chance to escape, the woman attends a funeral just after her marriage. Princess Marguerite had a chance to escape after her tragic day, but her husband Henri saved the king and became his most trusted person, and the king let him stay with him. Marguerite had to return to the city. At this point, Queen found Henri and thanked him for saving her son, but her thanks were not genuine. She had a poison book delivered to Henri's room, but Charles IX accidentally picked it up. During the banquet, he suddenly fell to the floor in convulsions of agony. His throat and stomach felt like they were on fire. But after a while, he was fine again. He thought he was fine. But when he returned to his room, he found his dog foaming at the mouth and dead on the floor. With the half-bitten book beside him, he immediately found the imperial doctor, only to learn that it was a chronic poison, and the person who poisoned him was his mother Catherine. He knew that the person she wanted to poison was Henri, and Charles quietly let Henri go in return. When Henri returned to Navarre, he immediately sent Lamwala to rescue Marguerite. At this time, Charles IX poison has spread all over his body and Catherine confesses in front of her. When she saw Lamwala's name on the front page of the book, she found a scapegoat. She can't let herself be accused of poisoning the king. So she lays a trap in the city. As soon as Lamwala comes to Marguerite's rescue, they capture her. Marguerite immediately went to the king to plead for mercy. But there was nothing he could do, and he couldn't let his mother be the guilty party. In the end, 
Lamwala is beheaded and the king dies of poisoning. Marguerite took the dead Lamwala to her husband Henri, but by now, she was in a state of grief, but soon after, Henri unexpectedly succeeded to the throne of France. He became Henri IV, the founder of the Bourbon dynasty, and Marguerite became Queen Margot.